Hey guys, welcome back. We are doing the next mission, which is going to be Dead Man's Port. We still need to access the adjutant we retrieved from Tarsonis. Our old mercenary associate, Colonel Orlin, is an expert in Confederate code decryption. If our intel's right, he should still be based at the Murkhaven at Dead Man's Port. He's not very trustworthy, but he's our best bet of breaking that encryption. Alright, let's go. Dead Man's Port. It's risky just waiting here with all these mercenaries around. Colonel Orland sure taking his time decrypting that adjutant for us. Yeah, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Incoming transmission. James, Orland decrypted your adjutant, but he's planning to sell it to the Dominion. Must have been something exciting in there. He, he wants me to keep you off his back until they arrive. That's nice, Mira. But why are you telling me all this? Because I like you and Matthew better than him, of course. Match Orland's offer, and I will help you take him out instead. He's paying in minerals, so I'll give you the same deal. Done. Always a pleasure, Mira. Don't take too long now. If Orland comes up with the goods first, I will have to side with him. Oh, and um, say hello to Matthew for me. Ask him why he never calls. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get minerals down there. We'll have to find salvage if we're gonna hire Mira before Orlin does. You think she'll help Orlin, sir? She's a mercenary. She'll help whoever pays the most. Alright, well, let's get going. Uh, well, once again, um... This is going to be actually a fairly easy mission. Uh, you just have to know what's what's coming up, and uh, it's actually you know you don't build any of the unit that it tells you to because they suck. Vultures are no good, so that's pretty much there all there is to it. And you get our mules now, which are also extremely all right, useful. All right, boys, we got a deal with Mira Han. Now let's get to work and get that adjutant back. Armed and ready. Yeah. Okay. Let's go down here. Can't wait. Nice and two medics. Pirates have been stripping down ships here for years. It should be pretty easy to collect enough scrap to pay Mira off. I'm not even gonna bother building SVs. There's actually an achievement for it. You don't even have to do it on brutal. Like, don't even bother. There's really no point. I just grab the resources, run back. That's medic number one. And we're gonna go up there in a minute. We just have to wait for the other medic to come out. These medics are very important. You know, the, these mercenaries are also quite nice, uh, so you can go grab them whenever you want. You know, you really, I don't see much of a point in using the firebat ones. Alright, uh, let's just make sure these guys are all healed. And we can go grab some of this stuff. And just go back for a minute. I left a little present out here for you and Matthew. Why, thank I you. never got to give it to him last time you boys were here. Damn, Jimmy. Are those vulture bikes? Good eye, Tigers. We can use them to lay mines around our base to hold off Orland. Okay, and a couple over here. Okay, and now we just have them follow these guys. And that's enough for defense, so that's it. This better be good. Got it. Uh, it should be enough, actually, but you have to watch uh, whenever you get attacked. Those shredders are constantly producing scrap we can salvage. We should check this area again later. It's always nice, because uh, these guys actually have really nice uh, regen. The, uh, sorry, the uh, mechs come out with, like, a bonus to energy as well. And the beginning here is just mostly micro, but, you know, it's not really that hard. Okay, just kill these SCVs. Alright, and then you get to a point where you need additional supply depots. So you just keep running these guys up. And you can see that already there was some sort of attack, but we didn't, we didn't really need to care about it. I don't know if destroying these actually inhibits his ability to get more resources, but I do it anyways. 
And we got one over here. Okay, and now I'm going to immediately actually head down here. Uh, not before picking that up. We're going to head down here because it's just better. And just don't forget about your mules, which I did, but you know, it's not a big deal. Don't, don't mind it. Might as well keep him coming down. I should actually come down here. Sweet vultures. No one likes vultures. Wow. I'm sure someone does. Oh, uh, oh, uh, well, that range survives. And I go here mostly so that uh, an attack that is probably about to come down here, that one, gets deflected by me. Oh, uh, I lost a medic. And I think I attacked my own medic. So, in this case, I actually don't want to continue the, to attack. Uh, so, I'm going to just bring these guys. They can attack for a bit. Oh, look, they're finally useful for a change. No, not really. I just go right here. The doctor is in. Uh, since I am basically, you know, I can just go through this. I probably should have got the one on lower health, but I did that so I can free up some supply. I don't even need to go and worry about anything else. I always forget to shut off Trillian. The doctor is in. And there we go. There's our other doctor, and we got better units. On top of that. Alright, I'm gonna go up here with these guys. As you can see, we're always ahead. We're always doing really good, so, you know, not a problem. Just don't get your medics killed like I did. And there we go. Salvageable scrap. There we go, and there's some over here. Don't venture, don't venture, by the way, up there. Bad idea. Uh, there's bad guys. And we go get that guy while we're at it. We'll just wait for him to come up here. I have the high ground. Alright, I guess we can just go down here then. Just for fun and adventure. I don't know, everyone come down here. There you go. I apparently lost uh, one Marine. I don't know when I lost him. There you go. A few more guys. Oh, we're so close. They're attacking my base, unfortunately. Well, they lost most of their units. I don't really have to worry about that much. I just let them let go attack. There we go. We're done. All right, Mira. We both know you're ripping me off, but I'm gonna hire you anyway. My forces are yours, Jim. I'm so glad I got to side with you and Matthew. Oh, scheming little! I'll show you what happens to double-dealing backstabbers. Base is under attack. Awesomeness. All right, and uh, we run into the slight problem with this. Not Which is, they're basically attacking this, and I kind of want to make siege breakers, but I don't want to pay for them right now. I don't have enough money, so I'm kind of hoping I won't have to invest into something else. Oh, come on. Come on, you stupid siege breakers. There you go. There we go. These little suckers are almost done. Oh, let's go down here for a minute. Go grab that. I guess we might as well go take these guys and reorganize them. Additional supply depots required. All right, let's go. Just get the rest of these resources, and these guys are done. So bring these guys over up here, and might as well bring bring these guys to go build this. We only need this, really. All right, go get some resources out here. Oh, don't kill them. Oh, don't kill the SCBs, too. Jeez. I think I lost all my medics. Oh, well. We got one. That's good enough. I oh, know we didn't. We killed one of their medics. Way to land. And 
and we'll just get those guys. Uh, we also need to start making some things here. Make another thing here. Let's continue building. Some Vikings would be nice, although I don't have enough supply depots once again. What are the guys I told to... I guess they made their supply depots. Alright, you're done. I want to see if you can go build that. And the rest of these guys can just stay here, because uh, there's really no point in them coming up with me. Uh, they'll just defend this base here. And I might as well hockey this, actually, so I'd never have to look at this again. Alright, and here comes our little, the little attack. Uh, not sure I want these guys to siege, but okay. They sieged anyways. And there's this guy. Let's go make him go do his thing. And we need another one right here. And this one I want to get the Hells Angels. There we are. I keep pressing V. One day V is going to mean something else. Completely. Like the fire bats! I don't know. I don't really actually need this factory. I just brought it here just in case. I mean, if, if something comes up here and this this stuff dies, um, I won't really shed a tear. You can also use these guys just to get the scrap over here. Because continuing to get scrap is fun, kids. Yeah, there's like a ton of it near me. Yeah, I'm just going to go right here. Alright, and let's go build a thing there. And a ton of science vessels right now because that is what we really need so usually on their next attack that's when I'm gonna decide to uh, change my mind about uh, being in the base here we just need a good number of tanks to kind of absorb a lot of damage and things All right, let's just anyone else coming? nope alright let's go And might as well tell these guys to come as well. And start telling them to attack. We will need a bunch of Vikings too. Uh, yeah, we'll just tell them to attack over here. We can do this really fast too. It's kind of nice. Alright, let's see jump here. And where'd my Vikings go? I think I left them in my base somewhere. Oh, no, they're there. Transmit orders. Crap, no wonder. Alright, a little bit slower on this, but that's okay. We'll fix this in no time. Ready to blunder. And we ran out of supplies again. Yep. Okay, just get a bunch of them to do this. Yeah, technically, you don't need... See, the thing with the orbital drop, though, you don't even need that, because there's that upgrade which basically allows you to... Uh, oh! Thank you. Alright. I feel sorry for these guys. Almost. Just almost. No, no. Get back. Can we get any more? No. And they keep healing. So we go up here a bit and uh, we run. got a little present headed your way. Nice of you to tell me that you have a little present coming my way. Doesn't make you exactly smart. That's just, it's also an easily dodgeable present, the best kind of gift, the one that the one that you can you can choose to receive or not. And so, like in literally no time, we have like the, like this huge ball going on. We need to kind of move these guys back though. And it would be really nice if we still got these guys. Yeah, just move down here. We don't need anything fancy. It takes a while to, to completely heal. There you go. All getting destroyed. We just need to destroy that guy. There you go, he's dead. Uh, this is the bigger problem, but we can move away. 
Just a little bit micro. Oh, he didn't even kill one. Wow, I feel sorry for him now. His his only purpose has been defeated by me. <laughs> All right, and then we just move up here. Get a nice position, and we win. Pretty much, it's ours. Good game. Renor, I will keep the snake safe and sound for you. I will even do it for free. Yeah, so it's pretty easy. Like it took me like uh, 18 minutes, so it could probably take you less time. Uh, well, maybe if you do a better route when you're getting minerals, or you know, uh, you can take as much time as you need as well. Uh, once you get the base, they don't do anything. There's no, you're not uh, pressured for time. So uh, let's go. I like that minesweeper. That would be my favorite. So let's see what this fancy schmancy adjutant has. Sir, the decrypted adjutant is back in the lab and ready to go. Well, old girl, we dug you up on Tarsomis. Were you online during the Zerg attack? Do you remember anything about Arcturus mechs being involved? Mechs, Arcturus, ex-Confederate officer, civilian prospector, founder and leader of the Sons of Korhal terrorist group. Status, criminal. Accessing intercepted transmission 0081 to 0086 Alpha. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're gonna use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane! She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. Holy... I can't believe it! We can nail Minx to the wall with this! Oh yeah. Alright, let's see what we got. Why am I in the lab? Oh, because of that. That's right. Let's check out the cantina. Hero vultures? No, no such things. I gotta know. Just what was it went down between you and Mengsk? Seems you boys were tight once. I used to think Mengsk be a force for change. Fought alongside him right up until Tarsonis. That's where he crossed the line. By using Zerg to murder the whole planet. He left Kerrigan there to die because she called him out on it. Turned out he was just as rotten as the Confederacy ever was. Damn. You sure know how to pick your friends, Jimmy. Emperor, much has been written in regards to the tragic fall of Tarsonis. Tolosky's investigative documentary, Imperial Dawn, even claims that you brought down the Confederate system by assuring Tarsonis' fall. I've heard these conspiracy theories before, but the fact remains. The Zerg invaded Tarsonis en masse, and no force in the universe could have stopped their onslaught. It was a very... terrible day. Tolosky's film highlights the seeming... convenience of the aliens annihilating a corrupt government that you yourself spent a lifetime trying to overthrow. Millions died that day, and you speak to me of convenience? Yes! I strove against the evils of the old confederacy, but never with the object of personal gain. When I was called upon to take up the heavy burden of leadership, I did so only to ensure our continuing survival as a species. Striking words from the Emperor himself. 
Up next, Zerglings allergic to lemon juice, old wives tale, or new super weapon in the fight for humanity. That's good. See the armory. What do we get? Ah, oh, spider mines. Those goofy mercs are still using vultures, can you believe it? Damn things are death traps, even when you ain't got people shooting at you. Careful now, Swan. My old vulture saved my skin more times than I care to remember. I ain't gonna listen to you trash talk a classic piece of engineering like that. Classic? I suppose you can call them that. Of course, most folks like a bike that don't explode on them when the repeller seals freeze up, or the fuel cells start leaking radioactive waste. But hey, who cares if it's a classic, right? <laughs> no one likes a smart-ass swan. <laughs> Here are the spider mines. A uh, very small category of technology came from Old Earth, survived the crash of supercarriers. Terran marines are famously mistrustful of the spider mines IFF <laughs> sensors. Because uh, they walk over them all the time. That's hilarious. Hey, they're fighting. <laughs> That's great. Uh, all right. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go see what I got in the armor console. It's probably just crap for the. Uh, I got I got a good good number of credits, but uh, you know, it's just uh. Well, this one would be kind of nice. Uh, I don't know about that. Less damage to friendly units. Yeah. Well, anyways, you can get um. You can get get them to replenish your uh, mines, which is you know not the worst thing in the world. Uh, you get like instant, uh, infinite mines, and uh, you make the mines better. Basically, a lot of emphasis on their mines, uh, but I won't be really going for either of them because uh, I won't be using vultures ever again. Because when would marines be stupidly walking into me like that? I don't know. In a large cluster, Vikings are still nice. I might get the uh, fire suppression system. That's always nice. Because it'll, it'll start repairing. It'll start repairing itself. So, you know, I might as well. And I think that's pretty much it. So let's, uh, see what the bridge has. If Mirahan calls, I'm... I'm, I'm just busy. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's everything for tonight, so, uh... I guess that's it, and we'll see you next time. Bye.